Good morning, boys and girls. Let's sing our song. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. It's time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. All right, let's take a look at our calendar so we can talk about what day it is. First of all, does anybody remember what the name of our month is? I'll give you a hint. We look right here at this first letter and it is a letter D. So this says December. All right, let's count to see what the date is. Ready? You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need to put number ten up there. And this is what ten looks like. A one and a zero says ten. All right. Now it's time to wake up Dylan. So let's go get him up. Here we go. Dylan, time to wake up. Let's see here. Dylan, what are you doing? Oh, hi boys and girls. I'm happy to see you again. It's still Christmas time. You're right, Dylan. It is still Christmas time. Yeah, I'm getting really excited because my mom, she put a present underneath the tree and said it's a gift for someone special. Oh, okay. We'll have to talk to you more about that. Let's see what's in our mailbox today, Dylan. Oh yeah, there was something in there that was making me feel pokey. Making you feel pokey? I mean, it was poking me. Well, let's check this out and see what's in here. All right, I think I have everything. Oh, Dylan, I think I see what was poking you. It was this. Ah, what is that, Miss Sandy? Well, boys and girls, you have one of these in your bags too. And Dylan's right, it does feel pokey. Dylan, this looks like it's part of a Christmas tree. Do you have a Christmas tree at your house? Yeah, I do. Let me feel that. Ah, it is pokey, just like my Christmas tree at my house. Oh, well, Dylan, today we're going to talk about the way things feel. Oh, yeah, I have a collection in my bedroom of different things, and they all feel different. Can I show you? Sure, that will be fine. All right, Dylan, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. What do you have here? Oh, this is part of my seashell collection, and it feels really smooth. Oh, I can feel that, Dylan. Do you have seashells at your house? Hmm, this does feel really smooth. And what's this, Dylan? Oh, that's a cotton ball. It feels really soft. Squeeze it. Oh, it does. Do you have cotton balls at your house? Hmm. And here's something, Dylan. It doesn't really look like anything. Oh, yeah. Feel it. It feels bumpy. Oh, you're right. Yeah, my mom got an Amazon package, and there was a whole bunch of that in it. Oh, this is fun stuff, Dylan. It's called bubble wrap so things don't break. Yeah, she told me there was something breakable in it. There probably was something breakable. You know what else is cool about these? You can pop them. Wanna hear? Oh, did you hear that? Oh, so we've talked about our five senses and the way things feel. So this one's bumpy and later we'll be talking about how it sounds. Yeah, that's a cool one. I have one more thing to show you. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was tickly. I know, Dylan. I like to use that to tickle my sister. Oh my goodness, it does. <laughs> this feather can be tickly if you rub it against your skin. So we have something that feels tickly, something that's smooth, something that's really soft, and something that's bumpy. Dylan, you have a cool collection. Yeah, it's fun to have collections. 
Well, Dylan, I'm going to set you down because I'm going to talk to the boys about what they're going to do today at school. Did I say boys? Boys and girls. <laughs> All righty. So let's set Dylan down over here. And we're going to talk about um, what we're going to do today. So this is our five senses book. And today says, I feel the tree. So we've been talking about all different kinds of Christmas things. You see the gifts, and I don't have it in here, but you smell the cookie. You worked on that on Tuesday. And today, we'll be adding the tree. So you can just go ahead and tape this down into your book, and you'll be able to feel the pokey tree. Now, the reason why I showed you part of Dylan's collection of the way things feel, you're going to go on a hunt, a scavenger hunt in your house today, or I suppose you could go outside even if it's nice out, and you are going to try to find something that's smooth. It doesn't have to be a shell. Just to find something that's smooth, something that's bumpy, something that's soft, and something that's tickly. And then one more that you'll have is you'll be able to find whatever you want and tell us how it feels. So since we're talking about our sense of touch today, you'll be finding those things at your house. Now we are also talking about letter G still. And letter G makes this sound, g, 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 gifts. Just like on our book, when you saw the gift or the present, you're going to be listening to this story today called One Snowy Night. And I wish you were here at school because I picked this book because in it you could feel the, um, there's things in here to feel like the hat here feels really soft. But this book is also about a g gift for this animal, and you're going to be making a gift for animals today. You'll be using this. We put a kit in your bag. You're going to be turning this into a bird feeder, which that's kind of like a gift for the animals outside. Um, I told your parents that you're, you'll need either um, something like this. This is a, a form of an oil that they might use to make cookies or pies with, or you could use peanut butter, whatever you have at home. Um, but you'll be using something to spread it on this tube, and then you'll be rolling it in birdseed. You also have a string that you'll be able to tie to this and hang it outside, and it will be a gift, a letter G, g gift, for the animals. Um, I'll be making a separate video so you can watch and learn how to make the bird feeder. But just so you know, you'll be working on that today. And one more special thing. Today is a pickup day, so some of you might have already picked this up. But since we're not at school together, we wanted you to still be able to make a gift for your parents. So in here are all the supplies and the directions for you to be able to make a gift for your mom and dad. All right. I think you have a lot to do today, so you can go ahead and get busy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.